So these are the weapons we're gonna try out today. This is a 5A drumstick, it has no brand and it's very light and cheap, like 10 bucks only. This one is like medium weight, also no brand. And this one is a 5A drumstick, good wood. And this one is a thinner one, 5AN, this is oak. And this one is the big boy, 5BN, big furf. And this is just a hot rod drumstick. So the first test is gonna be the cheapest and lightest drumstick. Next is the medium price drumstick. After that, we have the 5A good wood. Next, we have the 5AN, it's thinner than the good wood. Now we have the hot rod drumstick, I'm not expecting much. And the last one, the 5BN, let's see what happens. So these are the sticks and the boxes. As you can see, the first one, the cheapest one, didn't really do damage, it just left a stain there. Then the second one, even the medium cheap one, this one did a little bit of something. Then this one, the good wood. This one looks painful. Then next one, the 5AN, slightly thinner, also looks like the first one or the second one. Doesn't really do that much damage. When we go here, the hot rod stick, I didn't expect much. It's not painful. A little bit dent, better than the first one. Not as good as the second one, but it's getting there. Then the last one, oh my gosh. So if you want to defend yourself, don't get a hot rod stick. Don't get a thin drumstick. Don't get a cheap drumstick. The medium one, just for like a little thing only. Then the good wood is probably the best option because it's also painful, not that expensive. Then the Vic Firth one, this big boy, he's like $60 or something and he packs the biggest punch. But either get this one or this one. Now let's just smash this box just for the hell of it. You can see the damage again. Let's try from this angle. It goes in deep, man. Okay, let's hit the body again. And again. <laughs> wow. 